Well, good morning, guys. Uh, it's about nine o'clock in the morning uh, here in the Piedmont of North Carolina, and uh, uh, we're out here doing a few things in the garden, doing a few videos, uh, instructional videos, and uh, uh, I'm getting ready. I've already got some tomatoes planted uh, in this row. We've probably got uh, 30 or 40 tomato plants out so far this year because it's already, I mean, it's May 15th now or thereabouts. I, I'm not sure exactly the date, but it's it's the middle of May. And uh, so we've got tomatoes out, but uh, I'm going to continue. I've got some more uh, tomato plants uh, that uh, that we've got to plant, and I'll plant tomato plants on up until uh, probably about the middle of June. And the reason I do that so I get a continual harvest. Uh, a tomato is a long season crop. By the end of August, the tomatoes I planted uh, early, they look pretty rough. So I continue to plant tomatoes uh, on up uh, until June, and that gives them time to mature before our first frost date. And we have a good crop of tomatoes. We bring tomatoes in uh, the whole season. Uh, so it's sort of a continual process for me. Uh, but what we're going to do, without me uh, rambling on all day, uh, I'm going to plant some tomatoes from some seedlings that I grew in seed trays. These are heirloom varieties. Uh, one of them is Amish Pace, the other is a German Johnson. And uh, I've done a video earlier about those little German Johnson seedlings. Uh, but we're going to put some in the ground, and I'm going to show you what I do, how I plant my tomatoes uh, to get a good, strong plant and a good harvest. So what we're doing, we just go dig in there like that. And like I said, this soil's already broke, so this is not too bad of a chore. Uh, and you can use a hoe or even a shovel. This is just what I do. And get on down in there and loosen that soil up pretty deep. I'm gonna get those things started. And I want those roots to go just as deep as they can. All right. So once I've got my hole dug, uh, I'm going to put in about that much, about a tablespoon of a granulated fertilizer. And I'm just going to sprinkle it down in the bottom of the hole. That particular fertilizer was 13, 13, 13. And... Uh, I'm just going to mix that in a little bit. Use a hoe, shovel, post hole digger, stick, whatever you want to use to mix it in. And then I'm going to put some dirt on top of that because I do not want my little tomato seedling, the roots on it, touching uh, that fertilizer because it'll burn the roots and it could kill the plant. Now what I have here is a big old bucket of composted rabbit manure. It's been sitting for a while. We're going to take oh, a good handful of that rabbit manure and put in there. And uh, we ain't going to we ain't gonna get into our other fertilizer, but we're going to just put a little bit of a little bit of dirt on there. And, Mix it around. Like I said, that won't burn the plants. But that'll get them off to a real good start. Now this right here is some pretty little transplants. Uh, I grew these from seed that we saved last year from Amish paste. Open pollinated variety, so they're true to parent. We kept these tomato seedlings, or the actual plant that I saved seed from, away from any other varieties so that they would breed true. So let's pop one of these little fellas out and get him in the ground. After we got a rabbit manure in there, we're just gonna pop one out. Try to anyway, they've got a nice root system. He's got roots way down on the bottom there. And we're gonna nestle him right in there. And I'm gonna plant him fairly deep. And I'm going to pinch off a few of these bigger leaves. I'm going to plant the stem of this tomato 
deeper than what it was growing in that pot. Just for the fact that all those little hairs that's on those tomato stem will potentially turn into roots if they're underground or touching the ground. So we want this tomato seedling to have a nice root system. Now what's going to happen with that tomato is we're going to water him in, of course. But he's going to go through a little bit of transplant shock. He's probably going to wilt down. In a day or two, he's going to fluff back up. And he'll start growing and reaching out. The first thing that those roots are going to run into is that composted rabbit manure. It's not very high in nitrogen, uh, but it'll give him just a little bit of a boost. By the time he gets down to that chemical fertilizer that we used, then that fertilizer is going to be broke down by soil microorganisms and there's going to be available nitrogen, potassium, phosphate in the ground for that tomato seedling. And that'll get that thing off to a real good start. And you can use miracle Grow, or sometimes I even take this rabbit manure and make a compost tea and feed that tomato. Keep them fed, keep them happy. You'll have some beautiful, big, juicy tomatoes. This Amish paste variety, it's a, it's perfect. It's just like a Roma tomato, uh, but it's a whole lot bigger. There's a whole lot less peeling. It's perfect for making pasta sauce, any tomato paste, uh, anything like that. Perfect. And you can juice these if you want to, but they're a firmer flesh tomato. It'll be perfect for the pasta sauce that we're going to make later on in the summer. So. That's how I plant my tomatoes. Always have worked for me. Uh, give them plenty to eat, and they'll produce well for you. Until next time, this is the Piedmont Gardener. Y'all have a good day.